Okay, let's do Adlin operation. Okay, in the video we we heard that they talk about Kaizen, okay, about Kanban and so on. So we start with the lean operation is eliminate of the waste, and then uh, it's uh, based on the customer perspective. Eliminate waste. Okay, waste can be found around the manufacturing area. Okay, it can be in form of you can see it, uh, straight or sometimes it's hidden somewhere. So if you reduce the waste, automatically you will reduce the cost and uh, the productivity will increase. Okay, that's how it related. So we need to identify which are the one that we consider as waste. Anything that uh, not value added is considered as waste. Storage, inspection, delay, waiting in queue, defective are considered as waste. There are seven types of waste that you need to identify. Okay, the first one is transportation. Sometimes you move, for if, for example, for lift. Okay, so the for lift maybe you every day you make about twenty trips. So when you need to study on it, which part actually that you need twenty trips? Okay. So when you do study of improvement, you realize that oh, actually each trip you did not optimize the uh, space on the fault leaf. So you need to reduce. So after you doing the study, you realize that, oh, I only need ten trips per day. Ah, uh, okay. So we need to do the improvement. Another one is inventory. If there are too many inventory, so how are you going to reduce it? Ah, uh, are you going to have a frequent um delivery, or maybe you just buy uh, inventory that you need Okay, ha, tak perlu nak beli Lebih And then kita ada motion pergerakan Okay, motion in doing the work Before this, your screwdriver on the table So every time nak pakai screwdriver, you kena pick up But now you hang all your screwdriver So, you tak perlu nak pick up from the table If it's hanging, lagi easy to uh, to To grab and use it Okay, and sometimes you can use both hand Satu pegang screwdriver Satu pegang screw at the same time. So, it's going to be very fast process. Waiting. Reduce waiting time. Mungkin you need to to have two machine because the waiting time is higher. The process machine one is slow. So, you need to have two machine so that you can double the uh, input for the work. And then overproduction. Sometimes you in the factory, they make more than they gave. Okay? For example, you actually, the customer need 85, but you say, okay, why not we do 100? Uh, no, it's not good actually because you make it uh, item, you make item that is waiting for customer to buy. Kata deliver yang apa customer nak sahaja. And then over processing. Sometimes we expect customer nak packaging cantik, ada ribbon, ada apa. But actually customer say, no, I just want a simple packaging because I will do the uh, uh, final uh, touch up. Uh, kita tak pernah tanya pun customers And then bila customer kata No, we're going to throw away all this ribbon All this uh, padding and so on We just want a very simple packaging So we kita tak perasan So all of this are already waste Okay And the last one is defective rework reject uh, Ini merupakan waste yang paling ketara Always you can find it easily in the uh, manufacturing Okay, because they don't uh, standardize their work, machine tak maintain kadang-kadang and then tak train uh, pekerja betul-betul. So, lots of defect is happening. So, you need to ensure that all the thing that lead to defect ataupun rework, you have to solve. Okay, to reduce the waste. And sometimes kita nampak all the waste but also don't forget about energy, waste of water, okay, waste of resources, minimize the use, you need to to do it and when we talk about 11 minutes of waste we will see 5s uh, 5s is common lah so i think 5s you need to embed it uh, everywhere okay in your home okay in your work workplace and in your family so that everyone um use 5s as they as their daily routine okay 5s they are 5s involved first is sort asingkan okay in bahasa melayu is asing Second one is simplify or straighten. Okay. Sise. And then shine. Sapu. Okay. Kita bersihkan. 
seragam, standardize and finally sustain or self discipline. Kita dah ada empat S ni, last ni untuk kita sustain. Jangan buat semusim saja. We need to do it every day, every time, okay? And usually 5 S we have another 2 S together in which we know as a safety and also support or maintenance. Okay, when we have all these 5 S uh, embedded in our philosophy of life, is more orang kata more organized okay you can see if there's any problem and then you can uh, actually have a very uh, effective and efficient uh, way of doing things okay tengok this one is before 5s berterabu bersepa and after you doing 5s okay first you sort and then you sort and then you uh, set in order susun and then you uh, sapu seso dan ini in japanese eh and then shiketsu, shiketsu is standardized and finally is shitsuke ataupun sustain. How to sustain? Okay, when you dah kemas ni sekali, keep it until forever. Ha, okay, jangan minggu ni cantik macam ni, minggu depan jadi balik macam ni. Okay, that's not a very sustainable 5S. Okay, other lean initiative is commonly you will heard about Kanban. Okay, Kanban ni pull system. So, you don't make anything more than your customer needs. Jidoka. Jidoka is automation. Okay. Maksud dia automation. Uh, from before this, you do it manually. And now you have sensor to detect or, or any defect. Okay. And if there's a defect, the line will automatically stop. Okay. That's what we mean by Jidoka. Poke okay. Poke okay is error proof. Okay. For example, actually lots of uh, our daily life related with Poke okay. For example, uh, you kita dah biasa tengok SIM card ni. That's why there's a, at the SIM card, kalau kita perasan dulu yang besar ni, dia ada satu card yang, satu part yang they snip off. Why? Because they make sure that the SIM that we put inside our phone is at the correct position. So, kalau dia buat empat segi saja, sometimes people will put it upside down, terbalik and so on. So, when they have this part cut off, people have to put only one side. Uh, only one way saja. That's Poki okay. So in the manufacturing, they have jig for poki okay. Okay, make sure that they 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 assemble it uh, correctly. So kalau tak tak betul, dia tak boleh masuk pun dalam jig tu. Okay, that's how to to make sure that the error uh, proof. And andon okay, there's another familiar uh, Japanese word in the manufacturing. Andon is a signaling system in which uh, if the line have problem, they will uh, push the andon button. So everyone alert that okay, the line. At the machine A is now having problems, so all the supervisors, all the uh, people involved will go down and solve the problem immediately. Uh, that's why we need undone. And then Monozuki is more on the uh, supporting the capabilities. Okay, that's a common word that you will 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 re relate to lean production. And how to build a lean organization? It can be Difficult, okay, but you need to have all the elements, okay, you need to have the support or support from the supplier, distributor, and then make sure that all your employees are trained, okay, are aware on the lean production and workers become more flexible and we will have a space reduction and so on. So, all of this related to lean production. And the problem is to sustain. Sometimes you have introduced the lean, but the sustainability of the lean is uh, short time. So we need to have uh, lots of communication and then we need to focus on the issue. Okay. And make sure that everyone understand what are the vision and mission of the company. And when we talk about lean, not only in manufacturing, but also in service. For example, in the operation room, in the hospital, they are using lean now. And also in the office, they are using lean. So lean is not only for manufacturing, but also for services. Okay, let's look at uh, lean idea in the uh, administration. Operating in today's administrative environment is very demanding. You try to run as efficiently as possible and provide the best service you can. But administration faces many challenges. Customers don't like to wait, and they get stressed if they don't get the service they need exactly the way they want it. Employees end up being either overworked or idle when workflows are chaotic and resources are poorly utilized. 
Meanwhile, you're expected to do more with less resources, while customer expectations just get higher. That's where Lean can help. Lean management is based on four principles. Originally developed in manufacturing, these four principles are today successfully applied to administration to ensure an efficient and effective information flow. The first principle is pull. Rather than pushing service requests on without oversight, each request is checked for wrong or missing information at the outset, so the service request is only pulled into the system when it is complete and ready for servicing. The second principle is one-piece flow. Instead of processing batches of requests at once, services are processed one at a time in the order that they are received. This ensures that requests are processed as fast as possible and minimizes individual customer waiting time. The third principle is tact. This is the pace of customer demand for services. It sets a rhythm or drumbeat by which the services need to be processed. Using tact, the resource allocation is balanced, so the amount of employees and other resources are aligned to the services that need them. The fourth principle is zero defects. Mistakes happen, but mistakes and missing information prevent the customer from getting the service that they need. So error detection and prevention is key to a lean administrative process. Potential errors are identified as quickly as possible and are corrected before further processing. Applying the four lean principles can help you increase customer satisfaction, maximize the service you can provide with your resources, and reduce stress on employees. Combined with a robust continuous improvement process, the four principles of lean management will help your company stay ahead of the competition in a constantly changing marketplace. Okay, so you have uh, go through the GIT and how GIT link with the inventory and how overall picture of the Toyota production system or lean production support all of this element. Okay, so I see you in the next part. We are talking about the supply chain.